Hey fans, Mark here, back again from Zombie Modifications. Today, we're doing an unboxing of a Moza steering wheel. I will have a full review coming on the channel soon enough. This is the Moza 5 R5 steering wheel set with uh, light clutch. I haven't got the additive for the uh, extended brake because apparently the brake pedal is a little bit soft. So we will, we will be getting to that. Um, so let's just go straight into it. We've got to box the first, the big one straight off the bat because the clutch pedal is just the clutch pedal. So we're going to go for the big bad boy first off the bat. This is what everyone has been bragging about since Moser has come to the sim racing game. They are straight up, uh, they have like just stomped the force on all of the direct drive unit steering wheels. Before they came in, direct drive unit, especially around in New Zealand, would cost easily a couple grand. This whole setup, 800 buck boy. Now that is high quality too. That is a stuff, stiff steering wheel. Very, very stiff. And it's like, move on closer. Real high quality metal. The buttons feel nice. They've got a real nice press to them. Yeah. And it comes with the quick release kit. So I can finally take my steering wheel off. Whoa, gaming. Yeah, buddy. Pedals feel good too. Well, that nice click so you know you're clicking it. All right, let's sit this down on this nice, nice thing. Don't want to damage it. And let's move on to the next. All right. I didn't know if it actually came with this. Is this the, oh, this power box? No, it's the power box. So there's a drive hub controller for the Moses as well. I don't know if it comes with it. Their power brick, wow. That there is a CPU power connector. C a GPU power connector. That's what you would plug into your GPU to power it. That's what its power brick is worth. Damn. So this is basically what you would power a computer with. Alright, now, the actual hub itself, that's heavy, that's heavy, that's nice, get that nice, get that nice peel going, where are we, it is on the side, yep, oh, this one's stuck down. There we go. Oh. That's where the prongs on the steering wheel connect in. I wonder, I'm sorry, because I'm a point of breaking everything, I find the problem. I can already see, is there potential for wear on those tiny little prongs on that flat surface there. Trust me, I'll find out if it is. This is beefy. Like this is, oh, this must weigh like at least 10, 10, maybe eight kgs? For your Americans? Fuck, would that be? Um, Seven pounds? Six eagles. Oh, so yeah, they all connect via Ethernet cables. That is an odd way to drive everything. Very odd way to drive everything. Must be the speed. But yeah, let's uh find these pedals. Now, this is the one thing that when I bought this, even the that's the, the desk clamp. Even the person that I was buying it off said that you might want to buy the extender and make the pedal stiffer. Because they said the brake pedal was the one thing that people actually did complain about. 
being a little bit too light out of the box, like too soft. So this, the brake pedal and the accelerator are the same sort of pedal, aren't they? I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. I like having my brake pedal be a little bit different from the accelerator, but they are just two little Allen keys. I could easily change them out for just normal pedals. Now, I'm assuming both of them must be the same. So, it's got a decent little bit of press. Oh, what? That's the brake pedal. And they're saying that's too soft. Hold up. I don't, I don't know. To me. Oh, okay, now why don't you put your foot on it a little bit. Okay, that, that is a little bit softer, but I honestly think that's a little bit, mm, people being maybe a little bit picky. And something for this price bracket, I mean the extender's only like 60 bucks as well to make it stiffer. So it's not actually that, that much. And by the looks of it, as I did say, it doesn't come with the hub itself. So yeah, it all runs through this, and you can get the hub separate. I don't know what the hub does as a separate component. And this here is the bracket that clamps it all on. All right, so we got a lot of working pieces here. Need this to clamp it onto my desk, of course. We have a lot of a lot of working pieces here. So I'm gonna just jump to when I've got this set up because there is a lot of working pieces and it might take a little bit because my frame is completely different from everyone else's. So into the
Alright, first up in the Moza Racing. First time ever steering out the steering wheel. We have got it all in place where we wanted it. And um, we have, I guess, all the settings here, I guess. We've got the R5 base showing up. Pedals, yep, they're all working. 900 degree steering, that's normally what you would want from... Um, Okay, so we have a whole bunch of settings here. We've got presets for drifting, performance for AC official. Those are all of those. I'm going to turn the road sensitive right down. I've heard a lot of people have a problem with the steering wheel just going bomb, 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 like back and forth, back and forth. Like as soon as they let go of the steering wheel, it goes nuts. So we're going to turn that down and see if that uh, fixes that problem. We've got a whole bunch of settings here. We don't have the shifter or anything yet, so those are all to come. I've updated my firmware. Those are the only things I did do. It is the latest in firmware. It is heaps. So first off, we're just going to go with the preset that it is uh, naturally in here. Let's test this out. I'll get my camera set up and... Uh, film all of this as I was just going through the settings so I thought that I would chuck the camcorder on without setting up my recorder but let's just jump straight into it so I am going to be testing the Moza R5 steering wheel in four different categories <clears throat> first off we're gonna go with my favorite drifting just straight up drifting. I loved drifting ever since I first had a taste for it. And ever since then, I just, I honestly just can't get enough. So this is what I'm gonna test it with first. Second, we're gonna do straight line racing, like ducking and weaving between traffic on a no hissy server. I'm gonna do it without VR, just because my PC will run a bit smoother. So, without VR... Oh, hold on, I don't even have my headset on. Pause. Alright, as I was saying, I will be doing the No Hesse Server second. I have no gear shift lever, so it is just paddles. Okay. I have turned the road feel down in the Moza setting. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, that feels oh, so much stiffer than the Logitech. Whoa. Whoa. Because I have done some study before I got the steering wheel. Oh, crashed. And a lot of people say that the, the death wobble as soon as you let go of the steering wheel is absolutely nuts. So by turning down the road conditions in the settings, it will get rid of the death wobble as you let go of the steering wheel. It's still a little bit there. Apparently that is a real direct drive unit problem. Mm. And I'm struggling to drift in third gear on this. There's second. Yeah, okay, there we go, we're getting third. And it goes down, all right, no, let's just run, let's just run second. So after the no hissy, of course I will be doing Arab drifting. Woo, baby, right on that wall. Feel that one, feel that one. Because Arab drifting on my channel was the biggest thing in my channel. So we will be smashing some of that, of course. I'm absolutely trolling this. Like, holy shit, the feedback of the steering wheel is nuts. Like, just going over that bump there, I just felt it, you know, move in. And then same with, like, when you feel your, you can feel the wheels. Like, okay, I've got no handbrake, because my handbrake thing broke when I took the Logitech off. So I can't just go like this. Yeah, man, got handbrake. All right, let's do a handbrake -y. Yeah! <laughs> Can still use the handbrake, but it's got nothing to put it on. 
I don't know. I just mm. the feeling. I mean, okay, going from a Logitech to a direct drive, I've never used Thrustmaster either, so I don't know how good direct, uh, the belt speed can get. Mm. The feel. Like the feedback. Look, there you go, lock. And then it just goes. I can feel exactly where I'm steering. That's something you could never get with the Logitech. Oh, this is... This is nuts. And this is without the gear shifter. Oh. Alright. Let's see what No Hesse has to say. We are in No Hesse. This is the Honda DC5 Type R K20. Because I'm a Honda boy, tried and true. So this is going to be the second test. Driving and ducking with weaving between traffic. Here's some rain going in the background. Nice atmospheric. Yet again, just the feeling of the steering wheel. The feedback of the car. Like you can even feel it when it takes off. I couldn't do it with my other steering wheel. Let's see if the Moza R5 steering wheel makes you a better driver. Let's see if I can duck and weave between traffic and get to the end of that tunnel without crashing. Okay, I'm at the, I'm at the end of my gear six here. Whoa, 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 okay, 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 okay. I actually made that. I actually made that. I I don't know how. Oh no! Oh Okay. That was that was because of because of the lag. That lag got me. Alright, we're gonna have another go. We're gonna have another go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make it to the end of that tunnel. We were so close. If that lag didn't hit me. Oh this K20 boy. And everything too. So uh, we have lights. Oh, okay, come on, we're gonna make it to the end of this fucking tunnel. We know we are. So far, it has made me a better driver. Like with the with the Logitech, I could steer it, but I had to sort of hold myself because if I steered too hard, the belt would slip and I wouldn't steer properly. Where this. I just tell it to go, and it goes. Whoa, whoa! We got the wall, we got the wall, we got the wall. Okay, we're gonna have one last run. I'm gonna do this. Someone's in the beam are having some fun. I know I can make this to the end. This is absolutely nuts though. I mean, going from the belt to the direct drive is a whole nother ball game. But the thing that you've really got to think about here is that a Logitech brand new steering wheel pedals, you don't, you don't get the shifter included, is $600 for not $200 more. You get something like this. The feedback of every bump that I'm going. The Beamer ducking and weaving between traffic. Ah, he fucked himself, he fucked himself and he fucked me too! Alright, alright. That was the Beamer's fault. We're gonna blame that one on the Beamer. He screwed us on that one. I don't know, just the feedback that you get. You can feel like you're driving a car. You can feel you passing over these bumps on the road. Every little bump that before people, every little bump, people were having a boom, boom, boom. But this is, this is smooth. Look at this. I just know where I'm going. And 
I can trust and the hard steering and I can feel when like the, you're starting to get a little bit of the steering lock like it gives you what a car would feedback to you this is absolutely nuts This is making me a better driver. The Logitech is a good for a starter, but that's just it. it it's, a, it's a touch into it. And honestly, for two hundred dollars more, you're better off just. I'm sorry. You're better off just getting the Mosa. This is like. Okay, I can't drift the front wheel drive. Let's let, let, let's try it. Let's try. It. ABS is off. Traction control off. Are right, ready? Okay, ready? We're ready? Oh, ho, ho. K20 boy. Are okay, ready? We're gonna go I know what I'm giving it. Oh my god. I can't wait. Let's jump to some Arab drifting! Oh. The steering wheel. Okay. That's... That's really weird. That Look, as I turn, it's not turning the steering wheel as far but when it's center it's center but I can't view in that view anyways I've got to, I've got to go here I didn't save mm. I didn't save my last recording I hope I I hope it's still there all right, let's just give this a shot because if I leave now, it's still gonna be the same. Okay. The the feedback, ooh, is really weird. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay, um The feedback for drift Arab drifting really weird. Like springy weird. Alright, let's just let's get some speed up under us. Alright. Whoa! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um My CPU is still detecting really big frame drops. Oh! This is hard to control! But at the same time, like... I don't know, I feel like I'm doing a lot better as an Arab Drifter than I have a much, much before. I don't know, it's like... The zigzagging of it is so much easier, but fuck! It is a mission to pull this boat! Alright, right, let's get let's get two 240. 240 in this biz. I'm like capped out here. Alright. 
I'm uh, no more. I'm running out of steam. Oh, over the center line. Oh, I've got to hit the wall. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was nutty. Alright, okay, okay. One last, one last shoot down the stretch. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. This feels so much different than I remember. Where's this? There. And you'll catch? No? No catch? Where's the catch? Holy! Is my tires broken? Oh, I think my tires are broken. Yeah, because she's not going straight. We're, we're crawling. Look at this. Look at this air drift. We're crawling. Oh, I'm fighting her. All right. <clears throat> if I go back to pits, it's going to restart the video. Okay. We are going to jump to some rally. That Arab drifting, so much different than I remember. I honestly think that they've changed it a little bit. Don't know if that's a steering wheel. I was going absolutely mad lad with it, but I don't know. Definitely feels a bit different. All right, let's jump to some rallying. All right, guys, we're back with the final stretch of the R5 Moza full review. Right now, I'm jumping into the Hawke's Bay New Zealand rally track. I have not been able to do this, this is two days later from my other recordings as the fact is that I had a real big problem with dirt and the R5 or the Moses steering wheel apparently all the Moses have it so I'm gonna have a fix if you have not seen the short on my channel then um, I will have at the end of this video a full review all over my R5 Moser steering wheel in all aspects and what I think of it and all the pros and cons of a steering wheel for this price. Now this is the final stretch. Let's get into it and do some rally. <laughs> Hold down your handbrake. Five, four, three, two, one, go. One right and very long. Very long. 30. Oh, I'm already having a problem. All right, let's go again. Here we go. Thirty. Hawks Bay. Don't cut. Damn. To three right. Into caution. Don't cut three left. Caution. Don't cut three left. Fifty over crest. One right tightens. Damn. Hawks Bay be tight. Turn unseen. Don't cut one left tightens. Now remember I am a drifter as well. My brother is a rally car driver. Into three right. I have been learning from him. And honestly he's been learning from me with the drifting. Into turn immediate for left to Like honestly I am so long, don't cut tightens two. Absolutely blitz in this. Thirty. Three left. Oh. Into three right. Opens thirty. I am using a lot more handbrake than I open thought I would right. have to. Alright, open hairpin. Into three left. I slowed out too much. Should have dropped a gear. Right. Instead, I Into went up again left. accidentally. Very long. Opens thirty. <laughs> three right. The steering wheel. Now that it's actually working, oh my god, it's so fucking good. No! 
Oh, I'm good, I'm Mexican. good! Falcons very long. Titans of a crest. Oh my god. So, what happened was that when I started playing, there was no feedback. Oh no! He said don't cut! Well I'm back! Titans don't cut. Into six right. Three left, don't cut through narrow grid. Opens of a crest. Into six right of a crest. Into three left long, Titans don't cut. Into six right. Oh shit! Don't I had no feedback left. at all. So anything that I'm feeling now, right. nothing. 20. And so I had to find left. a way to fix small, that. Two right, and it seems like long. everyone had the same problems. Opens and no one knows how to fix it. Into four left. And honestly, it was something so fucking Slow stupid. 20. So if you want to learn what that is, open happen left. watch my latest short. It will be going out tonight while I'm recording this right now. Right to the crest. And this will be coming out tomorrow. Into five left. Oh. Thirty. Four left long Titans. Into six right. And six left. Into two right Titans. I feel like I'm really overcompensating my steering. Into two left Titans. Oh! oh no! Okay, my car's still good. I thought it was smoking too bad there. Right. I just tried to cut it a little bit too tight. Into six left long. Oh! Into five right long. That tightens three. Hawks baby, killing me on this. Into five left. Don't no. cut. And keep right to the thirty. Six left of a crest long. I haven't had a terminal break yet. Three, don't cut. Into one right. Okay, here we go. Into don't cut three left. Twenty. No. Six right. No. Into no. Slow. One left tightens. Yep. Evo's never let us down. Oh. I think I'm fucking this now. Something doesn't feel right at the rear. That's what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. Something doesn't feel right now anymore. Slow. Two left. Titans narrow. And I'm only halfway. Thirty. Oh damn! Into five right. Into four left. Into two right long. Opens. Into six right of a crest. Yeah, something feels really bad Into in the back, one guys. Long Titans. Into two right. Opens of a crest. And four left long. Titans two. I'm going as hard as I can, man. Into one right. No, oh, come on. Pull it back, baby. Pull it back. Opens. Into two. You left. ain't talking back to me, BC. Into one right long, opens, into four left, very long, tightens, opens, don't cut, into six right, don't cut, into turn two left long. Okay, don't opens, cut. Tightens three. Oh, that was a good. Into three right, tightens, six left, six right, into one left, oh, yep, 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 yep. Honestly, into six right. And keep uh, left into one can, right. This off. compared to driving in the Logitech, like, like this is Opens. the best aspect. I love it for drifting. I love it left. for all of that. Thirty. But nah, Five this right is the best long. aspect of it. Opens the feedback crest. that it is gives you. Okay. No, it's not. Into four left. The engine is not okay, mate. We're it's into running right. on hopes and dreams. Into caution. Four left long. Titans three. Don't cut through narrow gate. Opens 30. Three left long Titans. Into five right narrow. Two left Titans. Into six right. Into four left. Into Holy damn. Five right long Titans with one.
The engine is not very much not okay. Next. Moments keep right of a 60. Three left. Into four right. Now I'm driving a lot more cautious now. Four left, very long. 80. Oh damn. Here we go, here we go, boy, here we go. Opens. Into three left long. Into four right. Okay, opens here we go. Crest. Into one right opens. Opens. Oh shit! Into this. three left. I saved it, I saved it. Into five right. Into don't cut four left. Very long. Opens. And five right of a crest. Opens long of a crest through narrow grid. Okay, okay. And keep left of a crest, into four right, into yep. slow, two left, tightens, don't cut. Into three right of a crest, oh, into shit. unseen, don't cut, one left long, tightens. Okay, yep. I'm getting all of that, I, I'm right sorry, I'm 30. focusing now. Don't cut, five left. The engine is don't fucking... Right long. We're so close, boys. Opens into two left tightens. Okay, I can hear that. There we've got a massive right. ear leak. Opens of a crest into three left and five right of a crest. <laughs> Opens long of a crest. All right, all right, all right, boys, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going hard. Yep, we're on our final stretch. Into two no, we're on. Right tightens. Oh. Alright, we're on a rim! Oh no, this rim is fucking us! Oh, come on, we're on the final Back stretch. To the 40, right to the no. Very Fuck! Titans. This is hard! <laughs> Into four left long, caution, tightens bad. Into four right long, opens of a crest, 30. Alright, no, no! Five left tightens of a crest. Yep, 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 yep. Five right. I'm doing the best I can with the rim in the back. And the engine being on ticking. We're blowing like every piston. Into cut, six right of a crest long. Into slow turn, yep. unseen. Oh. Open heavy left, don't Open cut. Open heavy, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Into six right of a crest and jump. So 20, don't get open hip and right. Okay, okay. Oh, we are doing so good, my boys! Opens. Right of a 30. Crest. Three left long. Opens. Into four right long. Open to the crest. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, buddy! Three left. We're gonna Open make to sure we finish here! The engine light is on. Oh, I know the engine light is on! 60. Oh yeah! Oh! Like... I was using like my full, full, like in zone, boom, I've got to get there. Like this is it, we aren't, I was playing it like this was a real thing. If I was crashed, I was, that we were done. You can see my hands shaking. That was so much adrenaline coursing through my veins right there. I was in the zone. Oh. The steering wheel is a whole nother level. I was, that was, I can't believe I was playing like that. Like, it, it, I, I mucked up quite a bit a couple times, but man, I was using all the drifting skills that I had possibly ever gained to just go hog wild on that hawk's pay. Gosh, yeah. Oh. Like, my heart's pumping, my hands are shaking. My arms get sore 
for a, from about 10 minutes of playing. About 10 minutes of playing and my arms are sore from this thing. And this is only the, the R5. Alright guys, I'm gonna skip to my end card full review. I will see you guys there. Hey guys, back for the final conclusion of my R5 Moser steering wheel review. Uh, this bad boy right here, look at it, all its glory. I honestly can't really complain when it comes to the steering wheel. The easiness of it, the price, uh, the price comparison of it compared to other steering wheels in its price bracket. So the Logitech, the Thrustmaster, and I, I'm sorry for judging it against a belt-driven steering wheel, but the price comparison is where I'm judging it. Not not it being a direct drive unit. If I was judging it against another direct drive unit, that's like two thousand dollars. The the next gauge for me, because I'm a New Zealander, so shipping costs are of um really really massive in our country. So the next bracket for uh, Cummins, Cummins is the next one, is one point eight thousand dollars with shipping. We're shipping. I don't know how it compares to the Moser steering wheel, but $800 for the steering wheel, the base, and the accelerator and brake, not the clutch pedal. The clutch pedal was bought separately, and I did get it on sale. Brand new, $970. On sale, 800 bucks clearance. Fuck yeah, can't deny that shit. Honestly, I do have a few cons with it. The one thing about the Thrustmaster and the Logitech that I cannot deny is the fact that you can just plug it in and it works. You plug it in your, your PC, boom, you're good to go. Your PC recognizes that Logitech. Thrustmaster, exactly the same. Just It just recognizes it, it goes. The Moser, on the other hand, I had to do a lot of configurations for it. A lot of people say that the direct drive units are a lot more configuring because you know there's a lot more into it. <laughs> this is just a, <clears throat> a start into the game. So I think it should be a little bit more streamlined and should probably have a tutorial. I think a tutorial would be a very good idea as there is a lot of settings in the Moser steering wheel um, pit house. And the fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of settings that people don't even realize. The road sensitivity is a major one. The death wobble, I was looking for a few hours. The death wobble I solved pretty fast. I was looking for a few hours. There was a lot of Reddit threads, and I mean a lot of Reddit threads. People asking for help because their steering wheel was going like this every time they let it go. Got to the point for one redditor where he literally called it as just a, a feature of the steering wheel. He was just going to let it be. And this was two years ago, by the way. Two years. He, for two years, has dealt with this problem of the steering wheel just going back and forth, back and forth, when he let it go. And he just put it down to just it being part of the steering wheel. I'm sorry, that's not okay. That, that's, that is just not okay, that your, your fan base, your actual lively customer base is putting a, a part of your steering wheel down to a feature. I understand the road sensitivity is good to have. It is an amazing to have when you are drifting. But in certain servers, no Hesse's case, the, the wheel sensitivity and the road feeling and the feedback from a car is turned up majorly and they don't make it easy to switch between settings you can make preset settings yes yes you can but to change to that setting you have to go into the Moza hub change to that setting and then go back into the game and then you're good now 
I hear that they have just released an app. I didn't, I've never got to the app. I've used this for about a week now. I, I haven't used the app yet, so that will be, I'll do a review on the app too, so then, uh, it will be nice and even. Um, other than that, like, I don't have a lot of cons with it. A major con that I did find right at the start, though, a lack of hardware. I'm sorry. $800. Very cheap, very, very cheap direct drive unit. But you have to send the hardware. I don't know if it was just me. I had a few missing bolts and I had my clutch pedal come with nothing. My clutch pedal just came as the clutch pedal. I could see the indentation in the box where, where the, the, the hardware was meant to be. Nothing was there. Now, I had... I have contacted them and I've gotten in contact. They're absolutely great people. I highly, highly suggest joining the Moza Discord. There are amazing people on that Discord. Amazing people. They are so friendly. They are so willing to help. Everyone is passionate about the steering wheel. And that, that brings me to the, the best point about the steering wheel. The passion behind it. When this thing first came out, it stomped the direct drive unit. Absolutely stomped it. But at the start, the settings were not there. The Moses, the Moser Hub uh, pit house was empty. It literally had enough to connect it to firmware update, and that was about that. You know, your few settings of just turning your force feedback down and everything like that. They updated. They listened to their people. They had their Discord. They, you know, they listened to the features that everyone else wanted to get in. And now this has just become an amazing steering wheel. An amazing steering wheel. Like straight up. In, in New Zealand, the Logitech steering wheel, brand new, will set you back about $650. That is not including a shifter, but that is including a clutch pedal. So because that is including the clutch pedal, I will put it against the Moser steering wheel, including the clutch pedal. So this Moser steering wheel, including the clutch pedal, cost me $875. The clutch pedal was $75. So in that comparison, there is a difference of $225. For $225. You get a steering wheel that will last out, like unlike a belt. I'm sorry, the Logitechs are great, but the belts give so fast, so fast, especially when you're drifting, especially when you're rally racing. Anything with that little bit of force, it just sl starts slipping the belt. The Logitech's two newtons of force is good. Don't get me wrong, it is good. But the 5.5 newton meters of force in the steering wheel. That's not even to mention the R9, the, the R12, the 21, the 25. Like honestly, the five is enough. After about 30 to 40 minutes of playing, my arms do get sore. It is a legitimate workout, a great, an amazing workout but a workout nonetheless now I've gone one pro one con one pro this is the last con I have and it's sort of the same thing the configuration within the pit house so this is the biggest problem that I encountered it took me two days to fix and yet again there are so many reddit posts so many of people finding this problem and not being able to fix it and just writing it off. It's an $800 buy. You cannot write off a problem like this. Having no force feedback in Dirt 2.0. Now, this is the reason why this video took so long to come out. Because it took me two full days of work. To fix this problem and I'll tell you right now it is so simple that the fix was the simplest thing ever but there was no telling 
nothing to tell you about this. Alright, it's enough teasing on what it is. So basically what I had happened, I had got Dirt 2.0 ready to film the last stretch of this video for you guys to be out last Friday. But the fact of the matter is, I went into that game ready and roaring, handbrake ready, cane and off, to feel nothing. I could turn the steering wheel like there was nothing. This 5.5 nanometers of force that I was goofing on with drifting, goofing on and no hisi, was nothing. There was no force feedback. The steering wheel was turning, so I know it was registering, but I couldn't feel anything. I was so distraught. Like, I'm like, oh my god, I've got to get this video out. Honestly, my brother's the one that bought 2.0, Dirt 2.0, because he likes dirt. I'm not a very big rally racing fan, as he thrashed me the next day after my 10 minute I thought was fucking amazing. Thrashed me by two minutes. Um... <laughs> But I was distraught. I was like, fuck, he's just bought money on this game. I, I, he really wanted to use the steering wheel for rally racing because he loved the Logitech rally racing. And there's nothing. I was looking through threads. I was Googling. I was watching YouTube videos. And nothing. Everyone was just saying that that is just what happens with dirt. That is a fucking lie. That is not what happens. How you fix it is you go into the Moser pit house and along the side column, I'll be pulling up my video as this, along the side column there is your games. Every time you purchase a new game, you have to go into Moser pit house and then allocate or configure as they say, the game to Moser pit house. It registers that you've got your game there, it's like, oh look, Dirt 2.0 is on your computer. You need to configure it. But it doesn't tell you that. No. No, 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 no. It doesn't tell you any of that. It just, it's just like, expects you to know. And I don't think that is a good idea. Because one thing that people do is when something is too hard and it costs a lot of thinking, I'm sorry, that's a little bit, they just give up. They would rather just deal with what it is like out of the box then have to go through configurations to fix it themselves i'm not saying everyone there is definitely those diehard people that will go through every setting like i do and find what every setting does you're sitting there changing one thing launching up the game waiting for it to load playing from around closing it down changing one other thing seeing what that does and next thing you know, you've wasted hours going one setting by one setting by one setting just to get what you want out of the steering wheel. I don't think that is a good thing. I really love the amount of customization that there is. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about the customization. I think that is fucking perfect that anyone can just even apparently go on their phone and just change it just like that but not everyone is going to do that and the reddit threads are very evident of that there are a lot of people that were just like I don't know what to do so I'm just putting it down to that's just what it is some people were saying that their bases are broken this is not true it's just the fact of the matter is that they just didn't know what settings caused which things so they didn't want to tamper anything and break it. I think that is a very, very, very big downfall. Way that Moser could fix this, and I'm sorry this has been a little bit of a rant, because when I spend money on something, I always find the downsides. Two downsides that I can prematurely say that are going to break these little pins if you see these little pins in here they connect onto a flat copper grid on the on the steering wheel itself now that hub magnetically 
clicks itself in place. So if your computer isn't on, it actually doesn't click in. So I can see those prongs becoming a massive wear point for me. Like they don't move when it's clipped on. Yes, that is true. But I like taking my steering wheel off. I like putting it to the side. Anything gets in there and hits one of those prongs. Like don't get me wrong, I've also I've, I've given them a little bit of a... They seem a little bit sturdy. A little bit sturdy. Not fully sturdy. Second weak point that I can potentially see. These foot pedals. Do you know what you have to connect it on? Two screws. There is potential for more, but there are only two Allen key screws on the bottom, on the bottom, not the top, on the bottom. Because they're the way that the pedals are put on, you can lock the pedals down on the top through the pedals, but because they move and the way that they're arranged, they're nine times out of 10 actually not gonna meet up with the holes. And the only ones that meet up with the holes are the two bottom ones that are in place, in the same place, all the time. You get what I mean? Now, these two ones also have a plastic stopper. That's about that big, that it goes through before it meets its thread. Which means that there is now this much of empty space, even though there's a stopper there, of empty space, where if you put your foot too low on the thing, oh, that teeters. And when that teeters, with enough force, that breaks. Mm. I'm already seeing two potential really weak points. But two weak points is not as bad as your whole steering wheel just becoming useless because the moment you turn, you're out of line. Like my belt was in Logitech. I could play for about five-ish minutes, maybe one round, and then it was out of line. I definitely think the prongs are gonna be the most important ones. Watch for these guys, watch out. They actually sell a wall mount for this thing. I wanna get, you know, so I can just wall mount it on the side here, because then that way I feel like the prong will be a little bit more safe, but that's extra money. I'm judging it as it comes right now. After all of that, in conclusion, because now I'm almost a 20 minute rant and probably people aren't gonna watch this, but I'm gonna put it in here anyways. In conclusion, I can't deny how great of a steering wheel this is. In the past week, I have had more adrenaline rush driving around in VR, just not in VR, just sitting here in my frame, that I have had ever, ever playing on a drift sim. Like, something sparked in me when I first got that, that, first, that first try at drifting. This sparked something else. This sparked a whole new feel. Like, because it feels like you're driving. Every little bump on the road, the, the magnets are giving that feedback through the steering wheel. You... It is just a whole level of experience that I just can't explain. But for the price difference of the Logitech for this, don't even go for the Logitech. Nah. I'm sorry Logitech, you're over. Your direct drive unit, brand new, New Zealand, $2,000 with shipping. $2,000. Eight hundred and seventy-five. Not comparable. Come on, guys, step your game up. This profit margin stuff is getting ridiculous. Moser, thank you, thank you so much for listening to your peer, listening to your customer base, for giving us such a good steering wheel, and giving people the opportunity to have something like a direct drive steering wheel for the price margin of just a normal one.
Like, thank you, thank you. You, you guys are doing the Lord's work around here. All right, guys. I've had a 20-minute run. You guys see that I absolutely love this thing. There is going to be more content to come on the Moser steering wheel. This is going to be a big video. One hour long at this point. I hope you guys watch it. If you do, hit that like down below. Comment that you got to the end of the video. If you got to the end of the video, you guys are absolute legends. Alright guys, I hope you guys had a great one. Because you know that I did. And I will see you all later. See you! I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy